All right, buying gold coins or gold bullion on a tiny budget. Can you do it? Can you pull it off? Absolutely. Let's walk through it. All right, so you got a tiny budget. You're on that small budget, but you just don't think you can afford gold. Guys, let me make this clear. If, if you have your bills and your house in order, you can afford gold. If you can buy silver, man, if you could buy just one ounce of silver, you can afford to buy just a little bit of gold. Now, you might get burned on the premiums a little bit, but you can afford it. You can do it. And it adds up. It adds up quickly if you do it right. And in this video, I'm not going to show you exactly what you should be buying. I'm just going to give you some examples. But first, oh my goodness, I just noticed it. My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I noticed Her Majesty was head up. I know a lot of people get triggered nowadays. My apologies. It's, she doesn't bother me, but some people get upset about it. Okay, so now that we got that solved, let's go into this. All right, guys, new segment. I wanted to bring this to you. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but this is going to be the troll comment of the week. I'm going to feature the top troll of the week. Yes, you are going to get a voice on my channel. Yes. All right. So without further ado, it's going to be Mr. or Miss or Mrs. Fill up. And they say, ha, America, more than 22 trillion in debt. Gov backed, no thank you. Jeez, man, you're only five trillion off the right number. Come on, that's not even close. But don't you worry, buddy. I got you. I'm gonna give you that heart. I'm gonna give you that thumbs up for trying. Bring it better next time. And that's gonna do it for today's or this week's troll comment of the week. Alright, so here we are, guys. We're on jmboying.com, and the only reason why I'm here is because I want to show you how to look up gold and look up different types of prices for gold. This is by no means any type of recommendation or a paid endorsement by JM Boyan. So just wanted to put that out there. So you can go to their their gold, right? Their gold tab right here. And what I like to do is I like to click on their in stock gold. That, that shows me what they have in inventory and what their, uh, crap, my bad. Let's do that. It shows their in stock gold, okay? It shows what they have, what's available, and their best tier pricing. So if you are on a budget, but you don't know exactly what you're looking for, what you can do is, is you can sort this out. You click on price, and it's gonna generate the lowest price possible. So yeah, you'll see these options right here. I would definitely stay away from those. Gold backs are not for stacking, guys. They're not. Uh, they're, they're not, okay? So I would definitely stay clear of those. So. Uh, if you are on a very tiny budget and you, you just you need some exposure, you know this is kind of high, and and you got to be careful where you get these from. These these bars are highly counterfeited, highly counterfeited. So be cognizant of that right there. Now this price right here for the one twenty fifth that is a pretty good price, and a lot of people love these right here. Lots of people love these. These are excellent. These are very low premium normally. And they're excellent, excellent choices to get into. All your Mexican gold, man. Very, very popular stuff. You will have no problem getting rid of that if you ever wanted to. And any LCS is going to take that. Hands down. Uh, my LCS, they, they enjoyed the Mexican gold. They, they can never keep that in stock. Uh, let's go back. Oh, hey, hang on one minute. Let's look at the recommendations down here. See? Very cheap stuff. Cheap gold. Me, personally, I like the uncirculated type. But, you know, hey, to each is their own. Let's go back. And come on. There we go. All right. So let's go to, you know, the Philharmonic. That's a good price. As low as 103. That's that's a good price, man. It I would definitely buy that instead of this $50 Utah gold bag. It's just me. It's just me. And let's see. The one-tenth Lunar Ox right here good price but it's not as good as this price <laughs> not as good as this price now this one is a restrike to 1910 and this is a great entry point man great entry point into getting into gold these these are are 
highly sought after. They're highly coveted. I like the 1915 restrikes because you get a little bit more gold. Uh, I'm not sure that they have them, though. They're not showing that they have them. I prefer those because they're actually a little bit better gold uh, purity as well. I want to say they're 23 carats, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's go down. Let's see what we got here. All right. So look at that price, 235 versus 219. So, I mean, it's, it's something you got to think about whenever you're buying your gold is you're gonna have those premiums man and if you can avoid them that's great now a lot of people they love these these uh, roosters right here uh the swiss gold a lot of people love these i just don't like circulated gold it's just a personal thing for me i, I just i can't get past it uh <laughs> but you know like i said to each your own buy what you like man buy what you like that's that's the main thing uh here's another 1915 20 corona these are very popular as well uh, i would definitely stay away from the slabs you don't want to buy the slab you want to buy the coin the 10 peso another good coin and this right here guys a lot of people sleep on these uh these are 90 percent gold they're uncirculated they are not popular at all and they are very very cheap and a lot of times you can get these on ebay and get them for ebay bucks and just Get them as close to spot as possible look at that 0. 0.241 ounces of gold right there and uh let's see the price 489 so that's a good price pretty good price there let's go back and where you would see let's see where do they have a quarter ounce do they have a quarter ounce eagle here yeah, they do. See the price? 534 versus 489. Kind of a no-brainer, you know what I mean? So the cheapest quarter ounce that they have right now is your Greyhound right here. Uh those are good coins, man. Good coins. Uh I would not pay that for the kangaroo. Just me. I would definitely not pay that. That's a little extra. And me, I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of the bars at all because because they're just so counterfeited. A lot of a lot of people counterfeit those. This is a good one too. It's a great entry point. I know the color looks pink, but it, it's not going to look that way. And here's your ox, your half ounce ox, good coin. Pre thirty three is always a, a a good buy. And here is your here's my favorite size is the. The 20, well, it's not necessarily 2020, but the half ounce American Gold Eagle. I love this. I love this size. It, it, it's, it's close to being the size of a full ounce. You get to feel that weight in your hands, and it's just it's just a good looking coin. It's, it's you know, half the price. The premium art isn't too bad on it. Uh, let's see if they say it on here or not. I don't see it. Yeah. Oh, 79. Eighty dollars per coin over spot, so it's not great, but it's not too bad. It's just not going to hurt you too much. But I, I do, I do love this size in gold. But there's there's so many options out there. This is just one of many, and there's so many dealers out there that you can go to. And I highly, highly suggest you check your LCS, man, because your LCS, if it's anything like mine, he's going to blow these guys out the water. And here are some great options down here. So check out, and this is the the top dog according to a lot of people out there come on this is the top dog right here everybody wants one of these everybody likes them I, I can't imagine what it is that they like about them I don't know I can't put my finger on it uh, but hey it's, it's on the bucket list for me I can tell you that but yeah this is 0.12 ounces of gold and yeah, these are kind of circulated too, so you know it's just a great design. Lots of people love these. It's the top dog as far as your gold coins, in my opinion. And I wouldn't mind getting one one day. Like I said, it's on the bucket list. Well, that's gonna do it for this session. I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
I hope it enlightens you somehow on how to buy gold, on how to buy gold on a low budget. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, keep grinding on your stack.